Um, well, it's the first, first game back from, after the World Cup break. Um, a bit of, a bit of points after yeah, yeah, probably the last bit you said because we, we haven't come from behind uh, to, to, to get any points so far this season and, and so the mentality was great and, and that's a big positive and I'll take a lot of positives um, from that. I, I thought you know, we played really, some really good football. The pitch wasn't great but both teams really tried to, to play, um, to play uh, and, and that was important as well and they're never easy to play against. Um, and at 1-0 down after whatever it was, the 60th minute, you know, you, you kind of... You challenge them and, and, and make sure that, and it's, it's funny because I was going to make two subs before that happened anyway, um, and then you go one down and you know, we're able to get ourselves back in the game. Not just that, we, just con we continued and I thought there was only going to be the one team that looked like it in the winner and, and, and that was us as far as I was concerned and the stats back that up as well. Um, he's, not, he's not that bad, it's obviously precautionary, he, he um, you know, would be doing a lot of training uh, during this break and playing games and he felt uh, a bit of a twinge a weeks ago and he wasn't fit to start but he was certainly fit enough to be in the squad and participate and contribute. Um, yeah, so he felt it and I'm not taking any risks, not with him and, and any other players. So uh, I'll find out more in detail obviously later on tonight and tomorrow but I don't think it's, it's not serious. Yeah, fan-wise, yes, but don't forget the you know Wellington. Have, this is like their home. They've played two consecutive seasons here, so they know every blade of grass. They know how the wind goes. They know you know what, what the nets look like, uh, what the corner posts uh, do. What, what you know, they know everything. So you know, f forgetting that for a second. And yeah, you're right. I've been in that position, and and you know, it, it's not the best for for Ulfi and and for his players um, having to do that because. You know, they're, they're such a, it's a, such a different proposition when Wellington play in Wellington. Uh, and yet, uh, you know, we hadn't played here before. We didn't get an opportunity to, to play here either because of the two concerts um, on both nights prior to today's game. But like I said, uh, you know, we, we, we need to change our mentality. And we are. You know, we, we, we're going to embrace everything that comes our way, particularly any challenge. So I didn't hear that, sorry. There's, there's a truck outside. It's just a bad joke about that. Oh, right, right, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Phil. That's all the I had. Okay. Is that, is that it, Phil, or is it another question? Thank you, mate. Good to see you. Mark, uh, you had lots of the possession in that game. You, you were the, definitely the better side with the possession and really pushed it and gave it to them in both halves, I thought. But... Uh, Disappointing not to get three points. Agree. Yeah, yeah I agree with everything you said. Um, you know, we the the the, the period uh, away from the league allowed us to to work on what I believe we needed to get better at, and that's with the ball. And you know, my team's always developed into the season. They continue to to grow. And and I thought, you know, we did some we played some really good football with the ball and had a lot of the ball. But Wellington, when they play against teams like that. They, that you, could, you, you don't underestimate them because they, 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 they try to get you into a trap and get you on the counter. And that's what they've done with other teams that, that, that try to play out. So, you know, a very smart team. And, you know, like I said, they're well coached and well drilled. And we just had to make sure that we didn't get caught into that um, playing out and get, getting caught on the, on the break. And, and that was really pleasing. And, and like you said, the, the chances that we, in the game, we certainly had the better of them. And, and at 1-1, one, one, you know, we really went for it. And... Um, uh, I, was, I was really, really pleased with that. We didn't, we came up short in the end, but certainly the mentality was the right one. What were the words said when you scored that goal? To keep going, to keep pushing. There was a lot of belief as well amongst the, the playing group, and, and, and they knew that we, we had to continue to win the second ball. It was a real tough, you know, physical encounter at times, and, and we did that. And you know, the young boys that came on, you know, every player that came on made a difference, and that's what we ask from our, from our substitutes as well. Did you find it tough chasing the game? Um, well, like I said, it's uh, you know you, you never want to go down in a game, but it happens, right? Um, you're going to concede at times, but um, you know we, we we fought back from that, and 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 that's brilliant. You know the players now have the belief that they can come back 
and, and not just draw like we did tonight, but push on and, and go for the absolute win. Physically, you know, we're in great shape. We've worked them really hard in pre-season. We're very smart with the way we do and work with them as well. And, and like I said, those last 20 minutes, I thought there was just one team that was really putting a lot of pressure on, um, on the goal mouth and, and looking to get that winner. Thank you. Good luck in the Thank next Thank you very game. much. Thank you. See you, Phil.